Hey everyone, and welcome to Holy Grail Eats. I'm your host, Thomas Miller, the foodie guy. Coming up on today's episode, we return to downtown Vero Beach to explore a unique craft brewery located in a historic diesel power plant. Then we'll make our way to Miracle Mile to discover a restaurant serving some of the best scallop tacos I've ever tasted. So let's dive right in and see what these two restaurants have to offer and what I have to eat. My name is Thomas Miller. I'm a professional food blogger and I've been on a journey for the last nine years to find the best dishes in Indian River County. So join me as we visit a few local hotspots to taste the best that this county has to offer. This is Holy Grail Eats. We kick off our third and final episode this season at a local craft brewery with an expansive atmosphere and captivating industrial design that features an elevated gastropub style menu with an array of specialty and seasonal beers on tap. Let's head inside and check this place out. This is American Icon Brewery. The sampling that I have here today is awesome. It's Ahi tuna. The flavor is well balanced. The tuna is sweet and delicious. So is the fruit. It's awesome. Chicken and waffles, this amazing take on them. It's juicy, delicious, not too sweet. And it's especially good eating it in such a historical building. Great aesthetics. It's such an interesting, unique place. Come visit. You'll love it. The results are in, and everyone loves the Hawaiian Poke Bowl. Now let's head into the kitchen with Chef Ed to see how it's made. Hey, Chef Ed. Hey. Thanks for having me in the American Icon Kitchen today. Thank you for being here today. Can you walk us through and show us how you make the amazing Hawaiian Poke Bowl? First, we would add the orzo pasta. Nice little base there nice for everything else. Base, yeah. Grab our Japanese dressing, shake it off real nice. So it's like a sweet soy or? Sweet soy, but it gives it like a little pop so you don't want to add too much because okay. it soak up all the flavor. Great. Next after that, we would add the Avo mash. Okay. Just one little scoop just to make it look real nice. Then we get to the main course, marinating the pokey because you want it to be marinated for like a nice 30 sure. seconds so it can soak up all the flavor. Adds a little flavor. The ahi tuna itself is a little bland until you actually marinate. Yes, sir. Grab a couple. Okay. Just top it on top of the avocado mash. Looks delicious so far. I know we're not done yet, but it really looks delicious. Yes, sir. First scoop, I always go green. Nice little crunch there as well. Yes, sir. Come over to the pineapple, not so much. Nice color variation between the green and the yellow, for sure. Yes, sir. And then the mango cubes. Love, love, love mango. Little wakami salad. Top it off. After that, it gets a uh, spicy mayo. To okay. dress it all up. Nice little drizzle on there, it looks great. A little nice presentation. Then grab our wakami nori seasoning. Okay. With a nice little sprinkle on top. Just diced seaweed? Yes, sir. Okay. And then finish it off with some taro root chips. Those are so good. Got a nice crunch to them, a little saltiness. Yep. All right here we have our poke bowl. It looks delicious. Thank you. Let's get in here and take a bite. We're gonna use one of these taro chips as a vessel. All right, that looks like a bite with a little bit of everything on it. Chef, that dish is amazing. It's so fresh, big bold flavors. Um, it's tangy, it's sweet, it's crunchy. The seaweed salad, you know, gives that, that punch of flavor at the last, plus it gives it a nice color on top. All right, Chef Ed, thank you so much for having us in the American Icon Kitchen today and showing us how you make this dish. Thank you for being here. It was a pleasure. Thank you. All right. Stay tuned. More Holy Grail Eats coming up after these highlights from our previous episodes. The Riverside Cafe is located on the Indian River and offers a great dining experience with spectacular views. The menu features a variety of classic American dishes on the menu. Experience it for yourself today. 
Giovanni's Cucina is located in downtown Vero Beach and offers an exquisite Italian menu of timeless classics and modern Italian dishes. Stop by today and enjoy a little slice of Italy in Vero Beach. Our final stop this season takes us to a place located in the Miracle Mile district of Vero Beach, renowned for its quick creative cuisine and offering a variety of options including salads, sandwiches, and tacos. Now let's head inside and check this place out. This is Chive. It's really flavorful. There's actually a little kick to it as well. A lot of different textures in here. The shrimp is really done well. It's not dried out. It's a little bit juicy. Really good dish. I like it. I come here quite a bit. My favorite is the scallops. Uh, however, I tried the smash burger today. Excellent. Oh, we really like coming to this restaurant, Chive restaurant. The salad with the shrimp and the goat cheese, delicious. The quesadillas that we ordered, delicious, very good. Doesn't have to be Cinco de Mayo. You can come any day, very good. Everyone's talking about how great the coconut crusted scallop tacos are. Let's head into the kitchen with Lou and Elena to see how they're made. Hey Lou, thanks for having me in the Chive Kitchen today. What's up buddy? Why don't you take us through the making of your coconut crusted scallop tacos? Absolutely. The first thing we do is we start with fresh scallops at all my restaurants. Uh, fresh seafood delivered every morning. And I plop those into some buttermilk. And what does the buttermilk do for the scallops? Well, you're gonna, you need some sort of fat. Okay, fat's gonna uh, make it so that we can get everything to stick to it we're gonna put over here. So we have some flour. Okay. Some panko, breadcrumbs. Do a little crunch. Yep. And the coconut. Nice. Gonna add the coconut right there. Natural sweetness from the coconut yeah. then makes the scallops sweet, I yep. would assume. Dump the scallops in there and yep. uh, get them nice and coated. So Lou, now that the scallops are fully coated, mm -hmm. what's our next step? Uh, we're gonna take them over to the fryer okay. and flash fry them for about a minute. Okay. All right, let's get these fried up so we can start eating some tacos. Well, absolutely. Down for about one minute. Okay. Not very long at all. Think they're ready? They're ready. All right, let's pull them out. Those scallops are looking great, Lou. A little bit of seasoning. So what's in the seasoning? Got a little bit of uh, garlic powder, salt, and sugar. Okay. All right, Lou. Well, thanks for the uh, cooking of the scallops and showing us how that's made. So let's, uh, let's have Elena step in and uh, show us how we build awesome. them. Awesome. Here she comes. Hey, Elena. Thanks for joining us here and showing us how we're going to build these scallop-crusted tacos. So what's our first step? So at first we have the Baja saw. It's a little bit of a spicier coleslaw. Now the tortillas, were they grilled prior to now? Yes. Okay. Throw them on the flat top, put a little color on them. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And then we have a salsa fresca. Nice. Tomatoes, garlic, salt, pepper. Looks good. And then a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Okay, shaved and shredded it looks like. And then just a few pineapples. Ah, a nice little added sweetness, a little texture. And then the cocoa scallop. Nice. They look so good. My mouth is watering. <laughs> Can't wait to get a bite of these. So what sauce are we using? It's a sweet chili glaze sauce. Okay. Similar to a uh, sweet Thai chili, is there yeah. heat to it or a little bit? A little bit. Okay. And that's the completed Coco Scallop Taco. Awesome. Thank you, Elena, so much for showing us how you build these tacos. I'm going to jump in here and take a bite. Tortilla's got a nice little crust to it from the grilling. The scallops themselves smell delicious. So we're going to jump in here and take a bite. Taco's perfect. It's got the right amount of grill on the tortilla. The slaw adds a nice crunchy texture to the taco. The sauce adds just a little bit of sweetness and the uh, scallops are absolutely delicious. All right, Elena, thank you so much for having us in the Chive Kitchen today and showing us how you build these amazing tacos. Yeah. Thank you. And that's a wrap for season four of Holy Grail Eats. 
Stay tuned next summer as we feature more local restaurants and their fabulous dishes from all over Indian River County.